Okay, so we, we said that we were going to start doing some topical studies, okay? So the simplest way to do a topical study is once you've identified a topic that you want to study, pull out a concordance. Pull out a concordance. And a concordance is an alphabetical index of words used in the Bible and the main Bible references where the word occurs. Now, many of our Bibles probably have a concordance in the back. So turn to the back of your Bible and see if you do. And so if you have a concordance, let's just, as an exercise, look up the word faith. See where faith is listed in your concordance. About how many instances of the word faith would you say are in the concordance in the back of your Bible? 30, okay. Um, what is the first listing? What is the first scripture reference under faith in your concordance? Okay, Matthew 9, 22. Somebody else? Matthew 6, 30. What? Habakkuk 2, 4. Okay. Mark 9, 22. Okay. So, uh, so one way that you can do a topical study would be just to look up those verses that are listed and learn what you can about the topic of faith, for instance, from those verses. In this Bible that I have, which is a Thompson Chain reference Bible, uh, it lists probably 60 to 65 places where the word faith is found in the Bible. And then there are other listings for faithful, and faithfully, and faithfulness, and faithless. So if I wanted to learn even more about the topic of faith, I could look up all those verses too. And they would teach me more about what biblical faith is and what it means. There are also what are called exhaustive concordances that you can buy. Probably the best known exhaustive concordance is Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, there's also a, a Cruden's Complete Concordance, it's called. Um, both of these originally contained entries for every word in the King James Version of the Bible. But there is also a Strong's Exhaustive Concordance now for the New International Version, and there is also one for the New American Standard Version. There might be other, other strong concordances for other versions of the Bible, but I'm not aware of them if there are. The Strong's Concordance, because it is exhaustive, lists all of the occurrences of the word faith in the Bible. Uh, in Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, it lists all 239 instances of the word faith that's in the Bible. Not to mention faithful, faithfully, faithless, all of those too. So if you really wanted to do a deep dive of what biblical faith is and means, you could look up all of those verses and write down everything you discover from going through those verses. And then you could also trace all of the cross-references in your Bible. So a cross-reference is a note placed alongside the biblical text which directs the reader to another place in the Bible where he can find the same thing or something similar. And so uh, I don't know if you have uh, like a center column reference in your Bible, something down the center that has scripture references small little notes, some of them, uh, they are at the bottom. You, you would look up those cross-references, and they give book, chapter, and verse. And so if you looked up all of those, it would give you even a broader understanding of what biblical faith is and what biblical faith means. Then I would suggest one other thing you could do if you are doing a topical study. Think of other words or synonyms or close synonyms for the topic you want to study. For instance, if you wanted to do a topical study on faith, what are some other words that you think of when you think of faith, or that might be found in the Bible related to faith? So belief is one. Maybe trust. Okay. Um, believe. Fidelity, maybe. Conviction. And you might be able to think of some others. And then you would do the similar thing. You would look those up in your concordance, and then you would look up those verses, and you would write down your observations from those verses. 
It, it really kind of depends on how deep you want to get into it. And you repeat the process for those words by looking them up in accordance, writing down what you discover. And the result should be that you have a pretty accurate understanding of what biblical faith is and means.